New study has found evidence in Guatemala of a 2,000-year-old network of roads covering over 240 kilometers 150 miles that was used by the Mayans there for travel and for transporting goods. Researchers from the Cuenca Mirador Archaeological Project led by archaeologist and anthropologist Richard D. Hansen of the University of Utah, announced last week the results of a two-year study of the Patain in northern Guatemala, the largest remaining tropical forest in Central America. Hansen and his team used LIDAR, light detection and ranging, an aerial surveying technology utilizing lasers to make high-resolution 2D and 3D maps. They focused the LIDAR and their attention on the area where the Mayan city of El Mirador was located. What they found was astonishing. The LIDAR penetrated the dense foliage at a rate of 560,000 dots per second and uncovered evidence of a complex transportation system based on a network of 17 highways measuring 240 kilometers in total length. The highways were used by the estimated 1 million people who lived in El Mirador at its peak. These ancient Maya roads acted as spokes in a wheel, connecting all the pre-classic cities throughout the Mirador Basin. When they put these massive causeways through here, it unified them into a, what we think was a single state-level society. In fact, we think, Josh, that this was the first state-level society politically in the Western Hemisphere. And until discoveries like Mirador were made, and these sites like this were excavated, archaeologists didn't think that existed that far back in Maya Not civilization. Not in the pre-classic. This is something that was supposed to exist only in the classic period of time. Uh -huh. That's the, the ancient city of Paishban. This is all linked by huge causeway systems. And so there were rivers, essentially, in between? No. No? Swamps. Just swamps. Yeah. The swamps. On the other side of this upland ridge, you drop down into a swamp system, and then you see the pyramid, the big pyramid of Nak Bay. There's cities all over here, all linked together by these causeways. Nak Bay, meaning white road, and these are the these are the surfaces. That's 2,000 over. That's two, over 2,000 years old. And those are stone. Really no, that's smooth. Stucco. It's lime Stucco. cement. Oh. It's lime cement. It's lime. No beasts of burden, we have no horses, no oxen, no donkeys. It's pure human labor, which makes what you're going to see even more phenomenal because of the investment of human labor in this stuff. Huge amounts of human labor. No, no carts, no wheel vehicles to haul the stuff, no wagons. Hansen has speculated that El Mirador was a closed political system, and the LIDAR data also provides some evidence to support this. On the roads were what appears to be a system of pens or corrals that were possibly used for the production and transportation of meat at an industrial level and common at a time when the rest of the world was still dependent on small private farms. In fact, Hansen calls El Mirador the first state of all the Americas and believes that, prior to its abandonment in 150 CE, it was the largest city-slash-state in the world at the time in both geography 2,158 square kilometers slash 833 square meters and population. He wants to use these discoveries to turn the area in the middle of the Maya Biosphere Reserve referred to as one of the environmental and cultural lungs of the Americas, into a protected tourist area like Machu Picchu. For that, he'll need the cooperation and funding an estimated $100 million of the Guatemalan and Mexican governments to buy into his philosophy. Ironically, that will mean developing a tourism route without creating roads to visit the newly discovered superhighways of El Mirador. It will be worth it just to see what else the Mayans came up with before everyone else.